Okay, I want to do a quick little generic video for you on different types of placements for specific problems. We also have another video that goes into a great deal more detail on electrode placement and what you're doing. Just a simple concept. Anytime you put electrodes, this is an example of what you see with most TENS electrodes. It's basically what we call a two by two. You have a couple of electrodes. One overriding concept is you always take electrodes and you place them out on the outer edges of where you're feeling pain, be it in the knee, foot, right here I'm showing you elbow, shoulder. In between, when the electricity comes out of one and goes to the other, we want to make sure the area in the middle is where the pain is, is that's where the electricity is going. Now we can use all sorts of electrodes. This is one that's used for low back. That's because we have a bigger surface area, so on and so forth. And then there's another one that we call a strip electrode. And you can see here it's very long, but that would be if you're having to do a thoracotomy, so on and so forth. All we're ever trying to do, though, is set electrodes in places so that when the electricity crosses, it is actually going across the area of pain. Now, what I want to do is deal specifically with your type of pain or the reason I think you watch this video is because you may be having some particular pain and when I want to, what I want to do is show how you would use and what type of electrodes you would use for this specific. Now what we're looking at on the specifics of say neck pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, radiating sciatica pain, those types of situations. First thing, are we doing interferential or are we doing TENS? If we're doing interferential, we're going to use a bigger electrode. Another video explains why we use a little larger. We also look at where the electrode is going to be on the patient. Example, to put an electrode, this may be a good electrode placement right here in my elbow, right here on the other side of my elbow. However, the problem is, unless I'm laying down, if I'm walking around and I'm turning, an electrode's not going to fit there, so we have to look for an option. But that's something our staff deals with constantly, and we work with patients to help them with their specifics. But now let me talk about your specific and see if this helps you out some.